Yo, 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 what's up everybody? This is Zach coming to you from My Freedom Smokes here today to talk to you about the Mutation XV4. Um, first, I just wanna say that uh, we did have a couple of you stop by here at Vapor Slam, Charlotte, North Carolina, say that you love the videos. Uh, just stop by the booth to meet us and it was great meeting all of you guys. Um, it was very long, but it was a great weekend. It was a great trade show. Uh, I hope all of you enjoyed it, and like I said, it was great seeing you guys that stopped by our booth and that were there. We hope you got home safe and that you had a great weekend um, as we did. So yeah, uh, as you guys probably noticed behind me, we got a new setup, we got a new backdrop. Um, the previous one with all the posters and stuff was just temporary until we got our nice new backdrop in that you might have seen at the show. Um, we got it in for the show and we got it in for you guys so you, when you watch our videos you don't got to stare at posters or stare at me if you want you can just go ahead and listen to me and stare at the nice little backdrop we got and uh by the posters we had up we had no point intending uh to market those products that you saw on the posters to you guys we weren't trying to um say hey we got with tofo stuff hey we got aspire stuff or anything like that they were just something for you guys to look at besides me or a blank wall um it may have seemed that way but we really weren't we get a ton of free posters and when we order um as much as we order from the companies of the stuff that we carry so we thought you know why not just throw it up on a wall make it look like a nice little backdrop and like i said instead of staring at a white wall or at one of us that you see on the videos all right so now on to the rda uh as many of you know the mutation x line has a long history in the vape world um it's a good history uh i remember getting the first Mutation XV2 out in uh, Houston at Vape Summit. And I mean, you know, since they dropped the Mutation XV1, which was in my opinion, a revolutionary style RDA, because it introduced the famous nine hole airflow on the barrel that they have, which in, from what I remember, not many people or not any people at all were doing um, on RDAs before that. Uh, it, they've just been killing the game ever since. And uh, this Mutation XV4S is no different um, in killing the game than any of the other atomizers before this. This is a 22 millimeter atomizer. Um, it's a little small. It's small, but it's nice. Um, they have put a velocity style two post deck on the Mutation X now, and I'm loving it. It's very easy to build on, uh, and it can just you got a bunch of different options. As you know, the two post velocity style deck has uh, two holes on the side and um, two holes well, two holes on the side for where you know you put your screws in and then uh, two holes on each post a top and a bottom hole um, so you got a bunch of different things that you can do with that style deck and that is a very popular style deck and I know that I enjoy building on it and I feel like if you enjoy building and you never built on the style deck you will enjoy building on it too um, it also has an adjustable 510 pin, which is nice. Uh, the drip tip is a wide board drip tip and it is Delrin. Uh, the top cap, it can match the clear cooling adapter or be replaced by the 510 drip tip adapter. The clear cooling adapter that they have <coughs> that comes with this thing, um, you just unscrew the top cap, screw in the uh, clear cooling adapter, which is just a clear cylinder piece that has threads on the bottom to screw into the barrel and then threads on the top to screw in the top cap, you can put the chuff back, chuff cap back on it, um, or you can put the 510 drip tip adapter back on it, like I said. Airflow adjustment, it's got the classic nine holes on both sides, and then it also has bottom fed airflow. Um, three different styles, uh, circles on each side, a large, medium, small circle, and then, you know, with bottom airflow, that means that the air is being pulled up and routed to the bottom of the coils. Um, which is also good for flavor. It's also good for um, cooling down the coils if you got a hot build in here. I got about a 0.3 ohm build on my Mutation X right now on my nice noisy Cricut, which we also sell here at My Freedom Smokes, which I am absolutely loving. It's uh, got great flavor. The Atomizer has amazing flavor. I'm only, I'm only closing off three airflows, uh, three airflow holes on either side. So I got six open on the barrel and then, you know, six open on the bottom, which you can close off the bottom if you want. I don't know why you would. It helps with flavor, helps with cooling down the coils. That's pretty much about it for this. I just realized that I've said everything I need to say. I mean, really the only thing left to say about this is uh, what you have to say about it when you use it. 
Um, it's a great atomizer. I always recommend Indulgence. Um, I know that this was made by Indulgence and Unisig, so I'll give both of them a shout out, but you know, the original Mutation X is an Indulgence design since day one. And just show you guys a nice little hit off this thing because it, like I said, uh, amazing flavor, it's chucking. I haven't really had much problem with spit back. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really much about it. Once again, it was great seeing you guys at Vapor Slam. You know, it's always great talking to you guys through these videos. It's always great seeing the nice comments you guys have to say. Um, we love you here at My Freedom Smokes. I love you. And I'm Zach. Coming to you straight from Charlotte, North Carolina.